Good day students, welcome to our topic this week. Today, we're going to discuss evaluating functions. For example, number 1, let f of x equals negative x squared plus 3x minus 1. Find each function value. So for the solution, you are going to use the given function and you will substitute the value of x. Let's say for letter A, let us substitute 0. So we're going to have f of 0 equals negative 2 times 0 square plus 3 times 0 minus 1. Then just continue solving the equation. So you're going to have f of 0 equals negative 2 times 0 because 0 square is 0. Then uh, still plus 3 times 0 minus 1. Then you're going to have f of 0 equals 0 plus 0 minus 1. So f of 0 equals negative 1. Do not forget to box your final answer. So for letter B, what if x is equal to 1? So f of 1 equals negative 2 times 1 square plus 3 times 1 minus 1. It will become f of 1 equals negative 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1 minus 1. f of 1 equals negative 2 plus 3 minus 1. So f of 1 is equal to 0. Let's see if you're going to have a different answer if the value of x is negative 1. f of negative 1 equals negative 2 times negative 1 squared plus 3 times negative 1 minus 1. So it will become f of negative 1 equals negative 2 times 1 plus 3 times negative 1 minus 1. Take note that the square of negative 1 is positive 1. So we're going to have f of negative 1 equals negative 2 minus 3 minus 1 f of negative 1 is equal to negative 6. And that's the function value for f of negative 1. So what if the value of x is 3? f of 3 equals negative 2 times 3 squared plus 3 times 3 minus 1 f of 3 equals negative 2 times 9 plus 3 times 3 minus 1. f of 3 equals negative 18 plus 9 minus 1. f of 3 equals negative 10. Then uh, let us try if x is equal to negative 4. f of negative 4 equals negative 2 times negative 4 squared plus 3 times negative 4 minus 1, f of negative 4 equals negative 2, times 16 plus 3 times negative 4 minus 1, f of negative 4 is equal to negative 32 minus 12 minus 1, so f of negative 4 is equal to negative 45. We can also evaluate the function if we are going to change the variable. For example, if x is equal to h, when f of h is equal to negative 2h squared plus 3h minus 1, f of h equa equals negative 2h squared plus 3h minus 1. So that's it. It's like we just change x to h. So we can also substitute algebra expressions, for example, f of x minus 2, so it's equal to negative 2 times x minus 2 squared plus 3 times x minus 2 minus 1. So x minus 2 squared, we can apply squaring of binomial here, we're going to have x squared minus 4x plus 4. That's why in the next line of our solution, we're going to have f of x minus 2 equals negative 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 4 times or plus 3x minus 6 minus 1 because we multiply 3 to x minus 2. 3 times x is 3x, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Then we're going to have f of x minus 2 equals negative 
8x squared plus 8x minus 8. We multiply negative 2 to x squared, negative 4x, and positive 4. That's why we have negative 2x squared here. Negative times negative is positive, so positive 8x, then negative 8, and then uh, plus 3x minus 7. Then we'll have f of x minus 2 equals negative 2x squared plus 11x minus 15. We can also evaluate piecewise functions. But how are we going to do that? For example, number 2, find each function value if g of x equals 1 minus 2x when x is less than negative 4. Square root of 9 minus x square if x is between negative 3 and 3. Then x square minus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 3. So we have three values of x here given. So first we have g of negative 5. So since it is a piecewise function, consider the the value of x to be substituted based on the conditions given beside each function. So here, since negative 5 is less than negative 4, we're going to use 1 minus 2x. So g of negative 5 equals 1 minus 2 times negative 5. So g of negative 5 equals 1 plus 10 g of negative 5 is equal to 11. Next, so letter B, g of 3. Since 3 is greater than or equal to 3, so we're going to use x squared minus 1. So g of x is equal to x squared minus 1. g of 3 is equal to 3 squared minus 1. g of 3 is equal to 9 minus 1. So g of 3 is equal to 8. Then letter C, g of negative 1, since negative 1 is between negative 3 and 3, so we will be using the second function, g of x equals square root of 9 minus x squared, then substitute the value of x, which is negative 1. So we're going to have g of negative 1 equals square root of 9 minus negative 1 squared, negative 1 squared is positive, so more positive 1, so it will be g square root of 1 equals square root of 9 minus 1 or g of negative 1 equals square root of 9 minus 1 then g of negative 1 is equal to square root of 8. Last week, we have discussed domain of or getting domain of functions but how are we going to get the domain of piecewise function? So for example, let us make use of our previously given piecewise function, which is g of x equals 1 minus 2x when x is less than negative 4. Square root g of x is equal to square root of 9 minus x squared when x is between negative 3 and 3. And g of x equals x squared minus 1 when x is greater than or equal to 3. So the thing that you have to do is to express these conditions into intervals so x is less than or x less than negative 4 can be expressed as from negative infinity to negative 4 then negative 3 less than x less than 3 or x between negative 3 and 3 can be expressed as negative 3 to positive 3 excluded Okay, so lastly, x is greater than or equal to 3 since we have the or equal to, so it will be included. We will use a bracket instead. So 3 or from 3 to positive infinity where 3 is included. So express the domain of G as negative infinity to 4, union from negative 3 to 3, union from 3 to positive infinity included. And that's the domain of 
the piecewise function. Make sure that you are going to express the intervals correctly. Okay. For the exercises, number one, find each function value if h of x is equal to 2x squared minus 3 if x is less than 0. Square root of x cubed plus 1 when x is between 1 and 4 or 1 less than or equal to x less than 4. And x squared minus 2x plus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 5. If the values are 3, 7, and negative 2. Number 2, determine the domain of the piecewise function from item number 1. Number 3, let f of x equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. Find each function value a f of 0, b f of 1, c f of negative 1, d f of 3, e f of negative 4, f, f of h, and g f of x minus 2. Then for number 4, find each function value if g of x is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 10 all over x squared minus 4. If, letter, if the value of g are the following, a, g of 0, b, g of 2, c, g of negative 2, d, g of y, and e, g of y minus 1. Always remember class that the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you learned something today. Keep safe and God bless you.